When I first got to Paris and we left the airport, I have to admit I was a little starstruck uh, by the city of Paris itself. I think that Americans often time find it hard to imagine the world or outside of America. France and Paris in particular is connected with a whole bunch of different parts of the world that uh, America is not. You know, it's this great city that's referenced in so many American pop culture, American literary culture. I couldn't believe that I was there and that I had made it there. The French culture, I guess, that always strikes me is definitely their approach to meal times. It's a lot more formal than it is in the United States. What I loved about French culture is that you really spend the time just like sitting for hours just to talk. When I walk in anywhere, the grocery store, the pharmacy, wherever, you have to greet someone with bonjour and sometimes even a little conversation, comment ça va, which I wasn't used to. I would say that I have several places that I would recommend for future students. First, it's obviously the 11th arrondissement where I was living with my host mom. Canal Saint-Martin. The Canal Saint-Martin. I spent the summer in Paris and the canal was sort of my beach. <laughs> you have the Jardin Luxembourg. Le Marais. And the Parc de la Villette. Notre Dame et Centre Pompidou. Um, that was nice. I also love the Parc des Buttes Chaumont. My favorite park in Paris and everyone should visit it at least once. Very magical place, really takes you out of the city for a moment. There's a boulangerie, the name of which is uh, L'Utopie. I think I did have maybe a vision that, of a cliched vision of what French people were like or what France would be like or what Paris would be like. It's also a really diverse city and a really diverse country. We are given a narrative of Paris and of France that it is a very white place where there are only white people. And that's just not true at all. I mean, you know, when I got to Paris, I was nothing special. I think the point uh, is that you should just go to Paris knowing that you don't know very much about it, even though you have been given a whole bunch of media about what Paris is supposed to be like. I personally did not experience any discrimination there. Yeah, I think it is really an open place. There are various American ideas about how French people are really mean. Um, by contrast, uh, I find French people to be very nice and very gentle and very courteous. Est-ce qu'il y a un mot qui tiendra à l'esprit pour décrire ton expérience de Paris? If I were to describe Paris in one word, I would have to say tradition, diverse. I would choose flanny. It's um, English. I would say it's strolling in the city without any purpose. Either historic or iconic. I feel like that suits to the French, how French live in general. They really enjoy the moment. It's relatively small as a city, so you walk around and you see the history immediately. And so you're constantly reminded of where this city has come from.